All right, welcome to my April 4th live item shop review video. As you can see, we have yet another brand new skin. This is three days in a row. Have we ever had that before? I don't know, probably, but not in a long time. So three days ago, it was Miss Bunny Penny. Yesterday, it was Drop D, AKA the Power Cord reskin. And today it's Festival Lace, the Lace reskin. How crazy is that? And they're all 800, three 800 skins in a row. I love it. By the way, I did do a full gameplay and review on Miss Bunny Penny and today's skin, Festival Lace. I did not do a review on Drop D though. So as mentioned, Festival Lace is 800. It says she's ready to experience all the festive frills. Pretty solid skin. Like I said, I did do a full gameplay and review. Since she is just an 800 skin though, there are no accessories for her. And she's not part of a set. Looks like the Lucha Bundle's back. This is Dynamo Pile Driver, the Libre Glider, and the Masked Fury skin. Pretty solid. Ooh, look at this. Castor and Almira are back. Two of my favorite skins in the game because they both have four styles. I love it. And they're only 1,500 V-Bucks a piece. It's not often you get four very different styles for one character for only 1,500. I prefer the male in this set, but female is pretty sweet too. Unfortunately though, their accessories are a little lacking. The Spell Slinger only has Fire and Ice, that's it. None of the other two styles, and the Wings don't have any. Just a default style right there. Etheria's back, she recently got a secondary green or enchanting style. Clean skin. She's got the Final Fantasy Crystal right there. Speaking of Crystal, the Crystalline Battle Wand is her pickaxe, nice. Looks like the Drop D skin is still here from yesterday if you missed out on that. Oppressor's back with the Plasmatic Edge and the Angled Fire, so he has a secondary blue style, kinda cool. The Ice Queen has four different styles with some of the hardest challenges in the game. Not hard per se, but taking a long time because for the last one, gold, you have to outlast 10,000 people. Wow, solid skin though. Back bling's cool as well, same stipulations. Luckily though, with the pickaxe, you get all four styles right off the rip. So I don't know why they decided to do that, but not for the skin or backblade. The Fearless Fairway Bundle is back. These are 800 a piece. They all have a secondary yellow style. And the Dauntless Driver does have four different styles as well, which is pretty solid if you're a golfing fan. Splatterella and Trinity Trooper are back. 1200 for her. She used to come back all the time. Now she's kind of rare. And Trinity Trooper does have a secondary orange style, which I really, really enjoy, only for 800. Lead Swinger's back, ooh. Part of the Garage Band set. This goes great with the iconic skin. Blue Shock, one of the best raps in the game. Check this out. I love that reactivity there. Banger Boogie, one of the loudest emotes in the game. Holy smokes. It's so loud. Once thought to be super, super exclusive, now comes back on a 30-day rotation. It was all a dream. Sadly, copyrighted. This might be the one that has Notorious B.I.G. in it. I can't remember, but it is copyrighted, so I don't know. And we got all the returning stuff, the LeBron James bundle, the Wu Wear bundle, plus the gear bundle, sold separately. All the Turn the Music Up icon series emotes, amazing stuff all around. And all the Easter stuff, Miss Bunny Penny, still here. Danger Ducks Bundle, Pastel Patrol Bundle, Night Hair, Sagan, Quackling Pastel, Stella, my favorite Easter skin of all time, Bun Bun, Hopper, the Bunny Bundle, the Double Agent Pack, Shadow Pickaxe Pack, and the Cyber Infiltration Pack plus Tools Pack, all still here. So three days in a row, a brand new 800 skin. Can we make it four? Probably not, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.